Hey pharmacist, here's the difference between the ever popular Lantus and the newer concentrated Tugea. Both of these pens contain insulin glargine. They're made by the same manufacturer. The only difference, or so it would seem, is that Lantus comes as 100 units per mil and Tugeo comes as 300 units per mil. But there are a few meaningful differences that you should be aware of if your patient is switching from Lantus to Tugeo. Number one, don't be confused by the word concentrated. A common misconception is that if you switch your patient from Lantus to Tugeo, they'll be able to inject fewer units of insulin because it's three times more concentrated. But that's not the case. Let me give you an example to put this into perspective. Say you have a patient who's on 60 units of Lantus and you're switching them over to Tugeo. So if it's three times more concentrated, you may think that you're switching them over to 20 units of Tugeo. But unfortunately, that's where the confusion lies. The patient would get 60 units of Tugeo to start because it is a one-to-one -one conversion between Lantus and Tugeo. The only difference is that the volume injected into the patient will be smaller with Tugeo. So that actually might be more comfortable for your patient if they are injecting more units of insulin per day. Number two, patients on Tugeo may actually need to inject more insulin than when they were on Lantus. So I just mentioned that when you're switching someone over from Lantus to Tugeo, it's a one-to-one -one conversion. However, over time, your patient actually may need more units of Tugeo in order to achieve target blood sugar levels. In fact, this could range anywhere from 10 to 17%, which can be surprising because you probably thought that this was a more concentrated insulin and they wouldn't need as many units. But in fact, it actually is working the other way. Doesn't it seem odd that a more concentrated form of insulin would require a higher dose? That's my next point. Number three, there are significant differences between these two products. Tugeo actually has a more gradual onset and a longer duration of action, so about 30 to 36 hours, whereas Lantus is 18 to 24 hours. The advantage to your patient is that they may experience fewer episodes of hypoglycemia at nighttime, and that could be the reason why they were switched over in the first place. However, it does take about five days to reach steady state with Tugeo versus Lantus, which is about half that. So keep that in mind as you're titrating your patient because you may have to do that more slowly than you're used to if you're more familiar with titrating someone on Lantus. Number four, and this is the last one, they actually cost about the same. You may look at the cost of the two pens and see that a box of five Tugeo Solo Star pens costs more than a box of five Lantus pens, except there's a trick. The Tugeo pen contains 450 units of insulin and the Lantus pen contains 300 units of insulin. So you're actually getting 150 units more in this Tugeo pen. And when you do the math, which I did, the per unit cost of insulin is actually pretty much the same. So don't think of this as a more expensive insulin. What would make a difference is if your patient actually needs to inject more insulin with the Tugeo versus their Lantus and it actually does cause that price discrepancy. Here's the bottom line. Don't necessarily think of Tugeo as an option for patients who need high doses of insulin. It could be more comfortable for them because they would be injecting a smaller volume of insulin. But other than that, it is a one-to-one -one conversion. So they're actually not injecting fewer units of insulin. And in fact, they could actually end up injecting more. And the two products are not interchangeable. So keep that in mind if your patient is being switched over because there can be meaningful differences and it can impact their blood glucose levels at the initial point. Thanks for watching this short educational video. If you want more information about these two products, you can find them in the description below. Thanks. Bye, pharmacist.